There should be something lovely lad there. Oh, I do. It is feeling nice yeah. and warm in here. <coughs> Great. It's awful cold here in Ireland, everybody. Mm -hmm. Freezing tonight, so we are. Feel sorry for us. Yeah. So what is it, minus three? Is it? Something like that. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Neve. And I'm Danny. And today we are watching some Percy more Percy Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. As I say every week. Every when week. We start this video. I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, we know now. We know. But are you excited? I am excited. Yes, very much looking forward to more. You've been getting into it a lot. Yeah, I know. I was. We've been texting about Percy Jackson like he's all week. He's been talking about it in his spare time. Yeah. Like he's been bringing it up. Mm -hmm. It's great. This is what my life is now. I know. You're a Percy Jackson fan now. Mm -hmm. um, today's episode title is We Bring a Zebra to Vegas. A zebra? Mm -hmm. To Vegas. What, where did they get the zebra? Well, do you remember the end of the last one? Well, I suppose we should actually go through that anyway. Mm -hmm. We met Hephaestus. We met Hephaestus. We met Uri. Yeah. Grover was getting sauce on stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we Percy get, and Annabeth were bonding. Uh, yes, they were. Mm -hmm. They were indeed. And he gave them some supplies, I think, and a van. Uh -huh. And they got in the van. I'm pretty sure there was animals in the van. Oh, so this is where the zebras they were like, They were like... Yeah, no, it was. There was a, it was a funny looking van. It was van. like, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, What else, though? Oh, and the episode ended with Grover saying, I know he's still a lightning bolt. Yes, it did. And we were speculating on that one. We were. <laughs> but since then... Theories have grown. Have they? Actually, yes. Well, you, you know I keep away from this stuff. Yes, yes. But we were discussing it, remember? We were discussing it. Well, I sort of remember. We were talking about like how there's been loads of different interpretations of mm -hmm. like that um, Grover and Uri scene. Mm -hmm. And some people were actually taking it that he wasn't sus suspect of Athena, but suspect on uh, Uri. Because mm -hmm. they think he's trying to like one-up Athena. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to read, to be fair. I thought I actually did find that conversation quite confusing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's I've, it's but presumably it's written that way to, yeah. to confuse and to to But I guess out. I wonder are they going to reveal who Grover thinks, or is it going to be one of those things where we're not going to know, or like yeah. is it going to open with him saying it? Oh. oh. And will it be right? Exactly. Like, is it too early to be right, or is it not? I mean, well, we're I, someone co coming towards the end of the series. We are. I mean, it, it feels like we could go on for longer because there's only six episodes, mm -hmm. but like. There's actually three episodes to go here. Yeah, this is the, yeah. I was going to say the, the name for it, but what is the name for the third last episode of something? I don't know. The penultimate penultimate. <laughs> Trinultimate. <laughs> yeah. Trinultimate. I don't know. Let's watch it and find out. We starting. Yeah, I want to do it. Let's go. Let's go to Vegas, people. <laughs> Lightning thief. I gave you the tools to steal the Master Bolt, only to watch it taken from you. There's a mastermind mistake has been corrected but there is too much at stake for you to fail me again but it's taken the image of Percy's old headmaster give me reason to question your worthiness again and there is another that just might be ready to take your place isn't that right little hero who the hell is this Ooh. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, you do. You love having something <laughs> over me here. Like, don't do what that. Did I just see. Was that a rainbow? There, I got a signal. Toss the CV brain. Yes, I remember. I I understood that reference. Yes. Oh, Iris, goddess of the rainbow, please accept my offering. Show me Camp Half Blood. Look. It's my boy. Percy, are you okay? Where's Chiron? Chiron's holding cans together with both hands. So this is like God face time. Going to war, so the cabins are taking sides. Please tell me you're calling with good news. We know who stole the bolt. Cabins are taking sides. Grover got him talking and realized Ares knew who the thief was, but was covering for them. His favorite daughter. Clarice is the lightning thief. No. No. I don't buy it. Not Clarice. So Aries, huh? What was that like? Well, compared to the Chimera on Monday and Medusa <laughs> on Sunday. Monday you died in the river. Right, ah. so Medusa on Saturday. God, why did you turn into an old married couple? Oh. Not to change the subject. We're headed to Las Vegas to find your dad. 
Oh. She did that deliberately. You can't ask Luke about his dad. He's gonna try to talk us out of it. We don't need that right now. They don't get along? At all. It seems to be a common theme <laughs> among demigods. Oh, no, no, no. They've already got a plan to get themselves out. <laughs> and us, too. So smart. They were really only missing, like, one piece of the puzzle to get the cages unlocked. Thumbs. Yeah, visual <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> so, so you can talk to the animals. And once the cages are open, they have a plan from there? Yeah. They're just gonna run like hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grover is so wholesome. Look at the, look at the tortoise. <laughs> Seems dangerous. Oh, they'll be totally fine. They'll be able to reach the wilderness. I meant for the people. <laughs> <laughs> he really cares about the animals. As he should. Okay, come on before the cops show up. Yeah, like they're seriously going around causing destruction all no, no. over the Everywhere country. Everywhere they get anywhere remotely close to, it just gets wrecked. Serious. Yeah, they were told to go to the Lotus. Sometimes mm -hmm. it might be okay to just let the easy ones go. Wow. Whoa. Stuart. Ah? It's really cool because in the movie version they used Poker Face instead oh. and now they've got like a newer pop song. Yeah. We find Hermes. We get him to hook us up with the ride to Los Angeles and a plan to get into the underworld. Wait, hang on. What? Your mom told you all the stories. Odysseus lands on a beach. There's these guys who've forgotten where they came from, forgot everything that was important to them. And they got that way because they ate the lotus flowers. If we go in there and then forget everything, that would be bad on a number of levels. What do you think, wise girl? <laughs> Just don't... I reckon someone's gonna eat something. Wait, why are you looking I, at I reckon so. My money's on Percy, because he's a bit of a dope for that sort of stuff. <laughs> Let's put up. I thought we didn't do that anymore. One way or the other, we meet back in the lobby in 20 minutes. Meet me here and you'll take me to him. <laughs> don't talk to the god without me, Grover. Oh. Wait, did that actually annoy him? I was with Luke for a long time before Grover found us. Like meeting his mom. Oh. She's a seer. A human who can see through the mist. Oh. Sometimes I see stuff that messes them up. I think it happened to her. And Luke blames Hermes for it. And I think Hermes would do anything to win him back. To win Luke back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So maybe if he sees Annabeth and sees that she has a relationship with Luke, okay, mm -hmm. I get it. A god actually has an interest, apparently. Oh, oh. that's a satyr. That is a satyr. <gasps> Who are you? Augustus. Oh, he knows him. He knows who it is. But he's forgotten everything because he's eating something. Do you remember me? He's eating lotus oh. flowers. Oh my god, did he go on a quest to find No, you don't remember me. You ate the lotus flowers. Mm -hmm. You were really important to my family. And I know you were a big influence on my uncle Ferdinand. Aww. Ferdinand? Yeah. I just wanted to let you know I found him. I don't really know why I'm telling you this. Because it's just hard to talk to my friends about it. I don't know. I found him. What? No, I found him. He found him. Not, not Ferdinand. <gasps> I found him. What? What? Almost. He's here. I've almost got him. No, this is a trap. This is a trap. Will you help me? It's too perfect. It's a trap. Feels sketch. Or am I just. I don't know. I don't know. So, I've been having these dreams. Thank you for actually telling someone. Then, like Luke's mom, they got scary. They have these two, right? Oh, that was so much shit. This guy started showing up and talking to me. But today it was different. Like, I somehow ended up in his dream. Like, I was eavesdropping on him talking to... Talking to who? To the person who stole the master boat for him. You're eavesdropping on Hades. Conspiring with Clarice through your dreams. So they were talking about what comes next. Like getting Zeus and Poseidon to fight was only the beginning. Something the gods don't even know about. I mean, I don't know. You don't know? There are things I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, what chances do I have? <laughs> it isn't going to make any difference unless we actually get to Santa Monica first. Yes. We don't have much time. Well, good thing for sharing, Percy. Mm -hmm. Remember, Harry would never tell anyone about his dreams oh. in Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't Sky, have my I'm... surgery's license to look for Pam. 
I think he's either crazy or a genius. I won't tell if you won't. And he looks like Mark Hamill. <laughs> like a lot. I, I don't see it. What? This is like the least natural place in the world. Seems like a strange choice. Yeah, why would Pat? Yeah. Yeah. Augustus? Oh, has he forgot already? I'm sorry, have we met? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, poor Grover. Would you like some? I no. can't eat the lotus flowers, Augustus. They're nacho chips. Would you like oh. some? If you're not eating the flowers, then why <laughs> are you forgetting things? Wait, what is going on? I gotta tell my... Something's I gotta... up. He's forgetting. Wait. Maybe it's just being Someone, there. Someone, wasn't it? What was I just oh. saying? It's just a little further ahead. Will you help me? Oh, this poor man. How, how long has he been there? Years? Mm -hmm. And now he's going to be stuck on the same cycle. <gasps> and washes the boy back onto the beach. He was wearing a hat! <laughs> uh, I don't get the joke because I didn't hear the start. Well, you found me. He's in a hurry! Join us. That's a very kids not a break up? strange choice of a tower. You want my help to sneak into the underworld. Huh. Wow. You're a really good guesser. You're not the first demigods to ask. And trust me, you won't be the first demigods to walk away disappointed. We're friends of Luke's. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That was an emotion. Oh! Time and space hey. for easy kids. Parenting is <laughs> something else entirely. So he wants to be a good parent, maybe. Wow. I wasn't sure whether that was regret or anger or both or Yeah. Last time I saw Luke. Yes. Why Luke particularly does he like? Because he's got lots of children. That what happened to his mom was your fault. That was all your fault. That he hated you. Help us retrieve Zeus's master bolt from Hades and he'll see that you care. I don't feel like that was There is enough. a way into the underworld. I've helped others find it before. And do you know what happens every time? You don't want my help. Trust they me. They die? Must be. No, we actually kind of do. I was warned to stay away from Luke and his mother. Oh. Mm. No matter how much I tried to help, I would just make things worse. And I went anyway. And it wasn't just awful for Luke. It was awful for all of us. To be so close to someone you love knowing neither of you has any choice but to keep hurting each other. I know you do. Oh! Cool! What? Should I remind you too? <gasps> I remember just fine. Wow, this is so cool. This is such a Are good scene. It's just not worth it. I'm sorry. And this was all just a waste of time. We don't have time to waste. It was your father who warned me to stay away. I was gonna say. Who said it was who awful it? watching you struggle and feel powerless to stop. <sighs> but that sometimes that's what parenting is. I was supposed to see him. Oh. Why would he say that if he thinks it'll make things worse? It is very hard for a god to feel power. I guess we're all just doing the best we can. If it makes you feel any better, it won't be much use now anyway. Well, What's that supposed to mean? Has she forgotten now too? Wait, it's night time. It is. They came in in the day. Yeah. I know it seems like we've only been here for like about 20 minutes, but it's already Thursday. We've been here for days. <laughs> time moves differently here. Fast. Hermes let us sit at that table the whole time, knowing the clock was running out on our quest. Why would he do that? Mm. And I feel a lot better about having stolen his keys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Got invisible. Pick his pocket. Oh my god. You picked Hermes' pocket? I'm multi talented. Let's find this car, and it'll instantly transport us anywhere we want to go. Nice. We still have time to finish this quest. The reason we can't feel time passing is because of the lotus fruit. We didn't eat any lotus fruit. They pump it into the air. Uh... It makes you forget. Grover. Grover. 
Oh my god, they forgot. This girl they forgot her. Oh my god, that's so sad. Grover. <laughs> they think oh, that's Grover. Grover. <laughs> Man, Grover got really old. <laughs> <laughs> been here. Hey, a satyr. Have you oh, seen seriously? Him? Don't ask that guy. He doesn't know what's going on. Where is he? <laughs> Wait. Why? Wait. Is he evil? Playing VR. <laughs> Grover. I was so close. <laughs> you know, I hate it when someone does that to me. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. You don't know who we are, do you? Percy, Annabeth. We're your best friends. Mm. Besties. We can't do this without you. We're short on time and we gotta go. Right now. Quest? That sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just get him out of there, quick. Yeah. Work out the details in a different gotta place. I gotta say, so far, this quest is really exciting. Really hoping we find that car. Finding the car isn't the quest. There's more? <laughs> God. <laughs> Why long is this going to last? Really? Because of me? It's okay. Oh. Oh. We're gonna be okay. Wait, this is the youngest Grover seen to me. I was hunting for Pen. Sounds great. That's what your man was doing for a long time. Oh, the game. That, that I'd be the first. That I'd help save the natural world. Just felt so real. No wonder they get trapped. Yeah, is this meant to be some kind of metaphor? <laughs> for gaming or something. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Should have known the god of thieves notice his pocket getting picked. Oh. Mm. And it says we'll become travelers once we're on the road. And then a car will take us wherever we wish to go. One of us just has to drive it out of the garage. <laughs> Basic. And none of them can drive. Oh, I'm still not 100% sure what we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it's qualified. <laughs> it has to be you, Percy, doesn't it? I killed the Minotaur my first try. I really. Right? How hard could this be? I really. <laughs> I it's, really wouldn't it's, okay. it's a god's car. Like, surely it can self repair. Yeah. You're doing great. Maybe try aiming for the middle. Yeah. Listen, they will get to a road at this pace, just yeah. it'll take a long time. Oh, that guy didn't even slow down. <laughs> yeah, it's that guy's fault. <laughs> oh dear. This is excellent television. Watching children drive a car. Yeah. Uh, this is just so interesting. Something bad's gonna happen. Ah! Oh, oh, he just missed this. Okay, I thought something had attacked them. Me <laughs> too. Oh my god. Come on, man. Yes, yes, you go. Wow. Ah! He is very lucky. How did you get him out of there? How did you get out of that? Because they hit a road so they could travel to where they want to go. Oh! <laughs> I didn't catch okay, I got that. She didn't. I was like, what? <laughs> well, actually, someone drives them in the book. So, the car doesn't do that. Okay, so are they in LA? Well, <gasps> they're on the coast. No, they're so... on a beach. Well, it could be Santa Monica Beach. It could be. Percy, Annabeth, you guys are my best friends. Hey! Oh, he remembers. Oh, oh, yeah, we're on Santa Monica. That's the pier behind him. Oh! I wonder what that's about. Yeah, he forgot more. We weren't alone. Oh, because they had each other. It's easy to forget what's important when you're alone. Is this the secret door into the sea? I gotta go meet my dad now. Oh. oh. We'll be here when you get back. Stop. He's going for a swim. What do I say to him? You'll know. Yeah. But it sounds like his dad He's has actually in him. been looking out for him. Yeah. But. He thinks it's better to stay away. Mm. Obviously, Hermes got involved and messed things up. Mm -hmm. See them are getting a cliffhanger ending here. No, please, no. Wow. It's a great shot. Amazing. Epic. Like, like, Percy and the water and the, the sea. Mu the music is out of... Oh. It is beautiful, isn't it? Maybe we'll see the jellyfish again. 
What? It's the light. Oh! Oh! <gasps> that's not Poseidon. It's not. That's a woman. Oh, Jellyfish! He waited as long as he could. <gasps> He's been and gone. Oh, they took too long because they got stuck. Oh. Zeus's deadline has elapsed. Your father has gone to marshal his forces and prepare for war. It's technically the solstice. This is not your fault. Oh. You were brave. You made your father proud. It's time for you to return to camp. I don't think so. What? That's what his father wants him to do. No. Mm. I'm going to see this through. You are released from your quest. I don't care. The war is only the beginning of Fady's plan. There is something else coming, something worse. My father doesn't know about this, does he? I have to stop him. I have to keep going. So willful. Just like him. There is so much of him in you. We all see it. What belongs to the sea can always return. Oh! What are they? Each will provide one of you safe passage back from the underworld. Four. You give them four. There are four of them. Save the world. And then go save your mother. Oh. And Poseidon gave him four to save his mother. Oh, that's lovely. Looks like it. That's lovely. So, shall we start from the beginning? Yeah, very good place to start. I was about to say. <laughs> we arrived in, in, in Vegas and we let all the animals out to wreck the place. Amazing. Well, Grover specifically let them out. I love that they did, they did not need to include that. No, in that it, didn't episode. Add, it didn't add much, but and it just did. literally just adds context to Grover's character. It's just brilliant. Mm. I love it. Because that's in the book. That one, that one, I will say, was. Well, obviously, the casino was quite different, but everything else, there's a lot of little moments, yeah. like, even what the nerd said just there, like, that were just right direct from the book. So, bed. that was another jellyfish. It just I looked think so. far more, I think like, we were just they're like supposed clothes. to. <laughs> yeah. So, so then, then yes. we went to the casino to look for the Hermes. casino. Yes, and um, it all was not as it seemed in yes. the casino. Time moved Definitely. faster, mm -hmm. and it made you forget. Because it was something in the air. And it looks like pretty much every single person there is just stuck there. Stuck and probably there. has been there for years and mm -hmm. years. Some of them could be there a really long time. And, and Grover got stuck there because he followed Augustus. Because Augustus thought he'd found Pan in yeah. the virtual reality. Yes. That's so sad. So that obviously isn't from the book because virtual reality wasn't a thing in the early no, 90s. Yeah. So what was, what, where did Augustus think he found Augustus Pan? Augustus wasn't in the book. Oh, that was new. new oh, that's, that's true. It was very different. But also in the same spirit, you know, mm -hmm. the the whole Lotus Casino, the gaming, the people being stuck there. But um, Hermes wasn't in it. Okay. Augustus wasn't in it. It was just kind of them playing games nonstop. And then eventually realizing like, that they Percy should be talks here. to a kid and he's like groovy. And Percy's like, what? And he realizes some of these kids are stuck there for like 50 years, 40 years, whatever, like, you know. Endlessly playing games and never aging. Right. Yeah, Hermes isn't there. That was a great addition. I feel like they're mm -hmm. developing this whole extra storyline, which is so cool. And and well, in this, Annabeth picks his pocket to get the to get the taxi. She does. But after the first of all, they have a little bit of a discussion with Hermes. Yeah. Which Again. Very which is, which presumably if he wasn't in the book, that's new as well. So. Yeah. That's well, giving us a bit more context totally than maybe new, you have. But it's um definitely. They're developing things quicker and further and kind of things that are more side stories are being brought to the forefront, which is really cool. Like, I feel like they're just like deepening every character because I do kind of know that story about his mom, mm -hmm. but it's not even, it's not in this book. Like, no, you know what I mean? No. It's like, it's they're, But they're cool. putting the threads in nice and early. They're like, they're just like allowing these kind of side characters to become characters. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's just like so cool that they're doing that because normally I think you find... And adaptions they have to take away from the side characters, mm -hmm. but I think they're enhancing but them. I suppose with TV, that's the advantage. You can, yeah. you can tell a longer story. That's true. Look, Luke's mum is a seer. Yes. So, so she can see through the mist. She, she can see all the demigod stuff. See. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure in well, the books... She can see the monsters them. and the creatures and the demigods and the gods mm -hmm. and, the, you know... Something. Let's think about it. Percy's mum could see the Minotaur. She could. So she's a seer. Possibly. Mm. No, I do think it can be like a varying thing. Yeah, well, it wasn't a concept we've been introduced to in, in episode one, but... No, exactly. Potentially, yeah. I think it can be varying and like, 
some people can see more than others and some people can see lows like maybe she could just see like a lot yeah. and it like kind of drove her as a mortal because mm-hmm. it's not normal for a mortal to be able to see that mm-hmm. Luke doesn't like his dad yes due we, to what happened a, to his mom for whatever yeah reason. he blames he blames his dad over something that wasn't really that clear so something bad happened she sort of went went a little bit yeah not wise mm. and um, then I presume she died maybe yeah and and he blames blames Hermes for some for some maybe. reason for the whole lot, but we don't really know why mm. at this stage. Or maybe you do, be, but I don't. I don't. I don't remember all of it that well, to be honest with you. So it could also be like maybe, like her, being with a god, be having those abilities, maybe like kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, that was just what I got from the like maybe like having those abilities and then him being around her and stuff like mm-hmm. made it made her yeah yeah do you know yeah. what i mean made her so he like nearly blames her like if you'd never come into this woman's life then she'd have had a normal life and been Maybe? happy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. i don't know i yeah. don't know and also i think it's just general demigods hating their parents <laughs> yeah it does seem to be a theme really doesn't it it, it, it kind of i always think though because they'd be like he's like I exist outside of space and time mm-hmm. parenting is hard it's like if you exist outside of space and time is it really that hard to just like go see the kids once a month like just pop up for a chat <laughs> like really though is it that hard i mean if you've got thousands of kids maybe but they don't have thousands they have they're all at camp half blood well only the ones that survived well poseidon only has one and he didn't even bother to wait on him <laughs> like seriously he's got to go and prepare for war the man <laughs> oh yeah because it's the solstice mm-hmm. and we missed it because we were stuck in a casino for jazz yes, we've all been there it looked a lot of fun <laughs> i want to play that pan game yeah, all the VR, VR looks so good. I had a call with Luke and it was... Yeah, the FaceTime Luke. The Iris message. It's mm-hmm. called an Iris message, so... Yeah, the prayer to the God, God of rainbows. God of the rainbow, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the book, they, like, use water to make it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, water can make a rainbow. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was a bit more high-tech looking. Mm-hmm. I like that. But he was saying there was, like, stuff going on again. Yeah, they're all picking sides and they're mm-hmm. sort of preparing like for war. Everyone was, like, busy trying to calm people down. Mm-hmm. So all the demigods are getting ready to go to war with each other too, yeah. Yeah, oh God. Can't wait. side everyone's on. I know. I know, because like if it's Zeus v Poseidon, surely Athena Cabin won't want to be on Poseidon's side. You think so, yeah. Because I don't like him. Mm -hmm. I wonder, Ares... Well, he just loves a good girl. Aries, Aries. Aries kids will just be like buzzing. They'll just be like, yeah, who can, who can we fight? Show, <laughs> show me someone to hit. Oh my God, I haven't even forgot to mention... Clarice. So let's start. We, we completely so left that out of our we did. discussion. We did. Go back. Grover. First of all, Grover mm-hmm. said who he thinks. He did. Was. He thinks it's Clarice. Or essentially, Uri's Clarice acting through, through. through Clarice. Because they have said before the gods can't always interact with each other. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they have to get like a mm-hmm. something else to do their bidding. So whether that's a monster, a child. But what? Because it wasn't clear who that person behind the table was in the dream no so it was meant to be the headmaster from episode one mm-hmm. but it was but like obviously it wasn't not... clear who it was meant to be representing well they think it was Hades yeah Percy's interpreted it as Hades yeah. but there was nothing to say that definitively no that's true yeah and you, we didn't actually and hear we didn't or see see who we were speaking to but I feel like Percy did and then forgot or something mm. it mm. nearly looked like he did know and then he was like I don't know or something like I don't know what he yeah. said but it nearly I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe I took, interpreted that wrong. But but it's all still left it and he's very very secret. grey and unsure from that dream. Like yeah, there's something going on. Somebody's playing a mm. sort of a game with every with everybody involved. But yeah, who who it is is still not not yeah. obvious. What were they saying? I'm trying to remember everything that was they were said. saying that this is only the first step. Yes. Um. They, they, call, they called the person they were talking to the lightning, the lightning thief. thief yeah mm-hmm. so that is essentially then the person who stole the boat mm-hmm. but we don't know who that was because it wasn't it didn't show well, us. apparently it was Clarice apparently it was so Clarice. I don't know what you're talking about apparently she was who... doing the bidding of Hades yeah they're interpreting that to be Hades because they think well who wants to that, who, who wants Poseidon and Zeus to go to war sure. it's, it's Hades yeah but, but Ares would like that too, maybe. Mm-hmm. So he could be involved. It could be lots of motives that could trigger the yeah. two most powerful gods to... Well, like, we've seen, we saw in the last episode when they were talking about how bad things are getting between Zeus and Poseidon. He was like, isn't that great? Mm. Like, he's buzzing. But ultimately, anyone who wants more power <laughs> would benefit in Olympus from that. stands to gain from a war between the two most powerful gods. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So there's any number of people who could be playing, playing much... sort of little finger here. Yeah. Maybe Hades... 
knows enough about them to know that's not a good idea. Maybe. But someone maybe slightly maybe. lower down the pecking order hasn't had the same experience. And so then... And so fancies their chances of picking up the pieces here. Nice. And who do you think that could be? Oh, do here. Do you have any theories? A- any of them. Do you have any theories? Like, you might as well throw some well, I mean, when we talked about this the other day, that my, Even if the I like the Athena idea. Mm-hmm. That she's this, like, strategic god and that she's playing some sort of game be it for better or worse we don't know what the motive is but that she's got some sort of game going on it would certainly fit her her description mm-hmm. to, to do something like that i think i do think 80s 80s aries and hades are both too obvious to me mm-hmm. I, I think it should be i'm hoping it's someone we haven't thought of. i hope it's not athena either yeah okay you know, yeah, i, I hope it's mean. someone that i've gone <laughs> oh no way but who yeah. knows it is a kid's book. I know. <laughs> but it's been surprisingly hard to work out for yeah. being a kid's book. Mm. Like, I still feel like even, like, it's quite difficult. Yeah. Like, it's, they've done a good job, and I do think it's even, like, they're, they're giving you even less nearly in mm-hmm. the show, and mm-hmm. I, I like that. It's good. It's more exciting for me. <laughs> <laughs> but Dark Barbie Theory, I really like it. I think that is a, like, stand-up theory. I thank you for your appreciation of yes. the theory, as wrong as it probably as a, is. As a fan, I think that's a good theory. <laughs> as a gatekeeper for all things <laughs> Percy Jackson, you approve of this theory. I approve this message mm-hmm. from Neve. <laughs> yes. I think that, well, at the end, he, he told them to go back to camp. Yes, that was the oh, other thing we haven't talked about. At the end, the, the Nered that what is it? used to look like a jellyfish, now looks like a woman, um, told him to go back to camp because everyone was preparing for war and he's released from his quest. But he told her, "Do one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna see this one through." It was kind of like they were saying, "Look, you've lost," and mm-hmm. your dad says, "It's fine. You can just go yeah. back." He was like, "I'm proud of you anyway. You did, made a good effort." But he's like, "Nah, that's and not." He's like, "No, no, that's not who I am. I'm and going she, to finish this yoke." And she gave him four, four of the pearls of the things the pearls are that, that that get you back from the underworld. Is that what she said? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm always afraid to say things because I'm like, did they say that or not? Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? No, she said that these these will bring you back from from okay. the word. Yeah, and he gave four. And he gave four, which is interesting. And I spotted that straight away. He did because I was like, oh, that means Poseidon is not only taking an interest in the quest, but in the saving the mother, of the mother. element of the he quest. He literally told the nerd about mm-hmm. it as well because mm-hmm. she was like save a world and save and a mother. So it's literally. And it was almost like, do you think she like slightly expected him to refuse? Well, if she had the things... She had them with her. You know, he, he didn't go right, he's going to go back to camp, he doesn't need these anymore. Poseidon was like, he'll say no, so just keep to just like, give them to him. Tell him this, but get, when he, dis- when he tells you no, know, give him them there so we can get home. Or was it a test? Yeah, it could have been. see his courage. Yeah. Because because like, like, if it was, he's passed the test. All we're hearing here, though, is we've heard, we, we've seen Poseidon, he did see a Percy. Mm-hmm. And he has apparently told Hermes that it's hard for him to stay away from Percy. Didn't yes. Hermes said yes. That? And now we have a nerd who's come to see him twice on Poseidon's behalf. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it is a whole lot of talk. We haven't actually seen the man himself bother. No. So it is something that could be said, I think. Like, could you not have just come and said hello? Like, you're you're all-knowing God. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. A lot of talk, Poseidon. I want to see a bit more action. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, dude. That was so yeah. It was such a popular section of the book. Oh, I can see why, yeah, it'll be yeah, a lot of fun. And I'm glad all the gaming stuff was in it. Like mm-hmm. I feel like in the movie they kind of made it more casino y and it had yeah. a bit of both. Yeah. But it was more casino y probably because the cast members were a little older. Yeah. But this was had all the arcade games and mm-hmm. in the book it's like arcade games. Yeah, because they're kids. But in this it's like VR. Yeah. Like a bit more updated. <laughs> so how have you been feeling? What do you expect it? Well, as you know, I've I've been very much enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Um but I suppose I like the fact that a lot of shows nowadays are very sort of all one story and it's all sort of flowing. There's a clear separation each episode. There's something different yeah. happening. Like, you know, as I said in this episode, it was like Medusa on Saturday and, you know, <laughs> the, the, the Chimera on Monday and, you know. It's very suitable for episodic yeah, structure. Yeah, you watch isn't it? and there's a different kind monster, a monster nearly attacks week. each week. And, 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 you know, that is a big part of the series yeah. it's the same in all the books it's kind of monster of the week and which is which is good for like a kid's book because you're reading your kid a book every night before bed or that's, something yeah, that's you can, it's like life. Percy defeats the Minotaur tonight he defeats the, the Medusa next night, night. You know, no. yeah that's so true <laughs> you know when like I don't know all the shows maybe middle of the season you get a couple of episodes that are kind of filler yeah 
Like it's moving the thing forward, Each but not much major. happens. Yeah. Whereas in this, there's everything. That's so every, true. Every week, something something good happens. I love that. You're so right. Yes, you've, you're like there's all, there's going to be an event. Yeah, yeah. and and now now that I, I know the structure, there's I know there's going to be something fun happens every week. Like you know, yeah. yeah. That so that's I can look forward to that. I love that. And then yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this finale, whatever way. It's it's tensions are hotting up, and everybody's getting. You know, put, putting their putting their hands on their swords and getting ready to go to war. So, uh, that's always a bit of crack. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't want it to be over, but I know. Hopefully, but they'll do us. They'll do more series. Hopefully. We will have more to look forward to. Hopefully, sure. Okay. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. Um and. If you enjoyed this, you can leave a comment or let us know what you thought. Whether you're a book fan or not, Danny's not watching, looking at the comments. So we won't get spoiled, but no, I will but pass on. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pass on anything. Yeah, anything. Any, she, she, she sort of screams them for me mm. and sends, sends me the ones shots. that I'm allowed to I'm see. Like, this one's good. Look at this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it and mm -hmm. you can subscribe. We'll be doing these every Sunday, yeah. I guess, only yeah. for two more Sundays. Two more Sundays. And then, then we'll be starting. Something new. Something else. Very exciting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Okay. See you later. Bye. Sorry. We both waved at the exact yeah. same time. Did you notice that? Bye. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it's not a bit much. Should we do it again? Bye. Bye. <laughs>